In this video, I'm going to build on the pre-built date range filter example I did earlier, this time with a more compact and user-friendly slicer. We're starting with a standard column chart showing monthly property volumes, and above that, a slicer built from a simple table that includes options like this month, last six months, and last 12 months. This lets the user filter the data based on predefined time periods without manually selecting individual dates. To make this work, I created a table using the data table function. It includes a variety of time-based options, things like this month, last six months, YDD, and even quick abbreviations like 1M and 5Y. I also added columns for description length, which lets me group full and short versions and order so I can control the slicer layout. Then I created a DAX measure called date range filter check, which uses switch logic to convert the selected label into a date range. If the row from the date table falls within that calculated range, the measure returns one, otherwise zero. I use this measure to filter the visual, so only the months that match the selection are shown. Now let's take this further. I want to display a shorter version of the slicer directly over the chart to save space and improve the layout. To do that, I updated the date range filter table with additional fields. A shortened version of each option, like 1M for one month or YDD for year to date. A description length column to distinguish between long and short versions. And a custom order column to control how the slicer displays. This lets me reuse logic while offering two different views, detailed and compact. The next step is to update our date range filter check measure so it supports the new options. Now that the logic is in place, I go ahead and apply it. I add the new short description slicer to the report. I use the description length column to filter it down to only the compact options. I change the slicer to a tile format then reposition it to the top right of the chart, making it feel more like part of the visual. To balance the layout, I move the title to the left and use a subtitle for additional context. With this approach, users get all the filtering flexibility they need in a clean, space-saving interface. That's it. A compact, user-friendly way to apply dynamic date filters in Power BI. This layout not only improves usability, but also creates a more polished look, perfect for dashboards with limited space or mobile-first layouts. Feel free to reach out with any questions.